for the biggest jump you want to see from yourself between now and the next three weeks going into Alabama? Uh, just the least mistakes as possible. Just any any type of mistake, we just want to eliminate them. Just play 100% all the time. Just be ready. Are you guys seeing a lot of MAs right now from the offensive yes. line? Are you seeing those missed assignments? Or? No, 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 we're picking up. This is all good. Everything, like, there's, there's very little errors right now. But for the errors that we do have, we just want to clean them up and make it clean. Adam, last year with your, your injury, how severe was it in terms of when you came back and got into the season? Do you think you missed the season when you, when you first got hurt? Uh, I, was, I was shooting not to miss. I was shooting to get back and at least play a couple games. I wanted, it was a bit important for me to play last year, at least a little bit, to get the experience in the Big 12. So I think it was just good for me just to be able to get a couple games in before the end of the season so I know where I'm at and how I need to compete at this level. Than even they had, you know, diagnosed and originally. Did you we'll make do it on Friday or recovered than everyone thought? Uh, I think so. I think we really pushed the limits on getting me back for the ACL. Um, but I mean, the trainers are great, and I just wanted to work with them as quick as possible, getting there all the time, and we had results. Great results. Great. How much it helped getting that game experience? Now, if you didn't have the game experience you got last year, much for the Oh uh, yeah, that was, it was very big. Like just to see that kind of speed up close because it's, it's, it's a little different from practice. People get tired during practice sometimes. You see that game speed, it's, it's always a different kind of speed. So just seeing it and knowing how fast I got played is just helped a lot. With the initial snaps, uh, whenever you came back, was it mentally difficult to have a lot of confidence that your body would, would continue? Um, yeah, I would say it was a little difficult. You know, it's hard trusting your knee after such a major surgery. But as, as I slowly regained everything, I it just came back. You know, I was real fluent, so I just feel real comfortable again right now. Are you doing anything extra to protect that in terms of padding or? Uh, uh, no, we just wear our braces, and those hold up pretty well when people get rolled up on. So those big help. Um, I'm very fortunate to have him now. So. Best invention for an offensive lineman in the last uh, decade? Definitely. definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'll take those over the pain any day. <laughs> having Coach Crook for a second year uh, in the program um, and also having the availability of him working with you guys in the summer a little bit, has that made a big improvement, do you think, to the overall offensive, offensive Yeah, we, we, we know what Coach Crook wants and what he expects now. It, uh, when he first came in, it was a little change up. His techniques were a little different. So we had to adjust, but now we feel real confident, fluent in everything that he showed us. So just working on it every day now. Um.